What's up guys, it's Sava with SOS Kitchen and today we're making cranberry, almond, and dark chocolate Florentines. These are one of my favorite cookies that I start seeing around the holidays and though they look so pretty, they're actually really easy to make. They taste delicious, I just love like the hint of dark chocolate with that really crispy, crunchy cookie. Also good to note that if you can't eat nuts, in this recipe, the nuts can actually be substituted for oats, so then you have a totally nut-free version. As always, the recipe and ingredients are gonna be in the description box below, but let's get started. In a saucepan over medium heat, melt together your butter, a little bit of salt, the sugar, corn syrup, and some milk or cream. I actually had neither and so I used soy milk instead and it worked out just fine. Bring the mixture up to a boil and then take it off the heat. Okay, so before we get to the next part, I just want to say I'm so sorry for the horrible angle. I think I bumped the camera and I didn't notice it, but here we go. Okay, so to the hot sugar mix, add in some chopped nuts. Almonds are kind of the classic, but you can mix and match or even substitute oats. Pour in your chopped cranberries and add in your flour and stir it all together. On parchment lined cookie trays, drop rounded teaspoonfuls of the batter. Make sure you leave a bunch of room around each cookie because they spread like crazy. Put them in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes, rotating the pan once during the cooking time. When the cookies come out of the oven, let them cool for a few minutes on the tray before transferring them to a wire rack to cool completely. Melt some dark chocolate in the microwave or over a bain-marie and using a pastry brush, brush it all over the flat backs of the cookies. Then let them dry completely. The waiting is probably the hardest part of the entire recipe. These cookies turned out so good and they're shockingly easy to make. Try making these delicious cookies today and let me know what you think. Thanks for cooking with me again. Bye.